I found myself out of body outside of this. It was a beautiful house. It was just, it was very beautiful trees and stuff out. And there was, but, but there, but then there came a demonic presence that was like, I didn't see anything. I just felt it. I didn't see anyone else or I, it was just the, just, just energy spirit, if you will, spirits, this, and this like evil was literally crushing me. Like it was like constrict. It was just like crushing me to where like, dude, like I was like, I mean, honestly, if I hadn't, I kind of got ahead of myself. I looked into Jesus prior to that because I, I knew something wasn't right with, with what was going on. I'm like, I feel like I might be cursed, even though I didn't believe in curses at the time. So I'm looking into I'm looking into how to break curses, even though I didn't believe in curses. Sorry, I should have said this first. I look up on Google. I'm googling like what you know how to break curses. The only thing that came up was Jesus. That's it. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus breaks all curses. The blood. The name. Of, call on the name of Jesus. I mean, I'm scrolling. You know how when you do a search, there's like like a hundred and some pages at the bottom, you know, you can go up next page, next page, next page. I mean, I probably went up to like 20 trying to find something that wasn't Jesus. Nope. Nah, couldn't Jesus. That's it. That's, and I was, and I wasn't like hating on Jesus. I was, I loved it. I can't say I loved him. Now I can't, I thought I did, you know, it just is like everybody else, but no, I didn't know what love was yet. So I didn't know Jesus, but, uh, I um I gave him a chance, you know. I I, I was like, fine, you know. Clicked on a link and and just it said like when you call on the name of Jesus, he'll come, you know. So and that was the gist of what I got out of it. I wasn't even like I didn't know nothing about the blood really even then. But I seen I seen that it talked about the blood, but I wasn't like hip to that yet. It just said call on the name of Jesus, and he'll save you. Okay, so. That was the extent. So in this dream where I was getting crushed now, that's where I was like, Jesus, I'll call on Jesus. And listen, guys, listen, the for real, a wind came. Oh, I didn't, like I said, I didn't see nothing, but a wind came rushing in. Like it was like powerful, man. I mean, it was immediately just woof in, the, in this evil that was like crushing me, just lifted off me. I'm t and, I, and then I was left feeling nothing but peace. The only thing I felt was peace. I was like in awe. I'm like, I mean, I was dumbfounded. I never felt that before. I mean, not like that. And I woke up and had peace. So I'm just like, and it sank in like Jesus Christ is real. I'm like, but see, there was still demons in me that were like, they made me think like, Jesus, just that's the last thing you need. Just, you know, it was like, it was just pushed to the side. Anything but Jesus. But there was no reason for it. And I should also add this. that, Like saying that in the same breath I'd say. When I thought. Every time when I thought about Jesus Christ dying. Because I always knew. like I believed that Jesus. I believed at the time that Jesus was just an ascended master. Like a lot of these lost souls currently think. And. But like his story though. Always touched me because he died. He was nailed to a cross. He was nailed to a cross. And he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And like every, and I was just like, there was nobody. I just knew, somehow I just knew. No one, none of these ascended masters had more love than that one. Jesus Christ. Now I know he's the son of God now, okay. But no one, but like, I always wept. Every time I thought about Jesus dying for me. If I just came across reading about it, somebody said like, whenever I thought about Jesus dying for me, I found myself unable to not cry like i would weep and i was like why do i always, i'm like why do i always cry you know what i'm saying like i'm here weeping blubbering like a baby not knowing like why why is jesus making me cry why like i wasn't mad about it but i was it always made me so like emotional it doesn't happen like that anymore i mean like now now because now i walk with him now he's with me maybe i felt his pain i don't know i still really don't understand but Now I got to figure out where I go from here. 
Okay, so some time passed. I have to like fast forward now. Because I don't, I don't necessarily know if when I, you know, said another sinner's prayer or wherever I was at and asked Jesus to be my God. But I had a, I had a brother in Christ named Eric that, you know, we were still in the world, but he had gotten arrested for drug dealing and he found Jesus. He was, he gave his life to Christ in prison. And, uh, you know, I was teaching him new age stuff at that time. Still. Still, I mean, I still had, even though that happened with Jesus, that, that was, that was an experience. You know what I'm saying? I never, I, that didn't mean, you know, I still was practicing the same stuff because I wasn't delivered yet. I was still in need of knowing him, Jesus. So me and Eric were, you know, talking, we were hanging out, you know, my best friend. And, uh, I, he ended up buying like, some new age books, like the sacred flower of life and some uh, something else. I can't remember. And and he said, he just couldn't do it. He's like, bro. He's like, I just, he's like, I wanted, I, he's like, I wanted to, but he's like, bro, like what well, God said, no, Jesus, because he was a Christian. He knew he was a Christian. I didn't have an identity yet. I was just tossed to and fro from every wind of doctrine. And, uh, that's, I, and, and Eric is the one that's really, because there was people that told me about Jesus, but Eric was the one that took the time to really start discipling me and teaching me sound doctrine and, you know, and pointing these things out. And, you know, where this is wrong. This is why I chose not to this. This is wrong. This is evil. This is wicked. It's a deception, you know. And uh, every time he'd pray, like, I'd get nervous because he'd pray in the name of Jesus. I didn't know now that demons were trembling. I didn't know then, but I know now that demons were trembling in me. But, I, you know, I kept it to myself. I didn't say nothing because I didn't want to seem like a wuss. But now now I understand. But anyways, event, so that's probably somewhere in, in there where he was ministering to me is probably when I actually sincerely was like, you know, Lord, I I, I want to follow you. But I want, but I still had the baggage of the new age. So I was a Christ, a professing Christian, still wrapped up in the new age practices, and this is what broke me, of the of the uh, astral projection. Um, what do you want to call it? The habit of doing it, or the, the desire to do it. I had an, I had an, I was out of my body. All right, and. Uh, I always wanted to just gain knowledge by talking to different spirits and stuff and going to different dimensions or whatever, you know, and like bring it back to share with people. That's, that was where I was at. I didn't know any better. So there was an old white man in this experience. He was an old white, an old white gentleman in a wheelchair. And he's like, Mike, Mike. He's like, he's like come here, man. I got to tell you something, man. I got to tell you something. I'm like, all right. And I flew over. And I'm like, what's up, man? What's up? Talk to me. Before he could say anything, and this never happened to me before, before he could say anything, he, I grabbed his, I grabbed him by the collar, and I shook him. I, I grabbed him. It wasn't me though. It was something like rose up in me, and I know now it was the Holy Spirit. But at the time, I had no idea what it was, and that was weird. I grabbed, I grabbed him by the, by the neck, and I said, "Tell me, Jesus Christ is the Son of God." That's how I worded it. And he winced, like he winced, and he looked away, like it hurt him. And I shook him face back to mine. I said, tell me Jesus Christ is the son of God. And that's when he met, like, that's when he went from those, like, seemingly kind, nice old guy. He aged like an old, wrinkly, like, old, old, I'm talking super old, like, wrinkly, pruned out face. His eyes turned milk white. Hair started, like, little sprouts of spider leg, like, like, hair sprouted out his head. And he was hissing at me. Shh hissing and his teeth were rotten and then and then i that's that's when i got overwhelmed I, then I was back in my bed and then uh in that moment and when i came back i realized i'm like i remember reading that because i was reading the word i was also reading the bible at the time with eric and stuff and um i realized the bible was true that's when it really hit me this is real. Because I remember reading the scripture. It was 1 John 4, 8, I believe. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Where it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they be of God or not. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And at the time I read it, I'm like, I was like 
it can't be that simple, you know, because I still questioned the Bible at the time. But after that experience, I realized God just confirmed his word. Because I wasn't trying any spirits, you know what I'm saying? God showed me how, why I needed to try them. That was, so thank you, Jesus. And that's when I, and then I realized, and, and you know, I sat there and I, in my bed, I'm like, and I realized, I, I remember that scripture, he brought it to my remembers. And I'm like, I just realized, like, if you don't understand the Bible, if I don't understand it, I need to, I need to figure out how to understand it. If, because if I don't understand it, doesn't mean that it's, stupid or wrong it means i'm just too dumb to realize what it means i need to try harder to figure it out i just knew that was the wisdom he gave me you know and after that i never questioned the word that was the experience that brought me to where i was like god's word is real this is real it is to be trusted